A little dab will do ya. One cent bubble gum, 10 cent candy bars, 15 cent hamburgers. Hamburgers. When a dollar went a long way, and so did 24 hours. The 60s and the 70s, dwelling place of the lost generation. We who grew up in this era had no real heroes. Our role models came from the imaginations of others. Our meager lives were formed by and revolved around weekly installments of our favorite TV programs. Welcome to a place that your parents didn't understand. A place that exists somewhere between the forefront of recollectable memory and the edge of everyday thought. Welcome to the vast wasteland. Welcome home. Good evening, and welcome to another exciting episode of Vast Wasteland. I'm your host, Mark Schmidbar, along with Wilbur Neal and Marty Wiley. We're here to talk about 60s and 70s television. And uh, in the last uh, few months, we've seen something on today's television that certainly reminds us of those classic days of 70s television. It's that new Brady series we've all been very excited about. Yes, uh, and it, and uh, by the time you see this, actually, w uh, as we tape this, uh, the show has already been canceled. It was only on five shows, and uh, since it's been on and uh, it died, we want to discuss things like, why didn't it work? And uh, not only the Bradys, another show that was brought back, and it seems to be working, is Leave it to Beaver. So this week it's the Bradys versus the Cleavers, and I'll turn the proceedings over to Wilbert for this first question of the evening. Well, by golly, you know the Bradys. They actually started in the 50s. Um, and um, then by the, the time the, the, the cleavers, that cleaver. <laughs> cleavers. <laughs> start again, that, too long. That you know the cleavers, episode. they actually started back in the 50s. And by the time we, um, <clears throat> well, I can say by the time I actually saw them, well, let's see, right here, they first aired on October 4th, 1957. The last show aired September 12th. 1963. So it counts. It counts. It does count, yes, by golly. So don't write in. And so they, they've anyway. just been syndicated, <laughs> syndicated forever since then, so they're still actually being shown. We're still actually seeing old shows now. And then here within the last, what would you say, last year, the um, year before last? Oh, no, it's about three years since they started the, um, the revival. The new Leave It to Beaver. Well, yeah. didn't they start with like a movie or two first? I think, I think there was. There was a movie that I remember where Beaver came back home divorced with his kids, with little Kip and little Oliver. Mm -hmm. And I can't remember exactly if Wally was living next door to Mom then or not. I don't think he was married yet. Some sort of deal. Oh. I'm not sure, but I think that kind of, since it was successful, it kicked on and gave uh, Mr. Turner in Atlanta a great idea. Oh, Why let's not? bring it back. Let's go for it. Ted Turner, the keeper of old shows, says, hey, <laughs> let's renew this one. Come on, everybody's still around. Most, most of the people are still around. Let's do a new show. They all still know each other. It, it, it could work. Well, what's so nice about the new one is June has a life now. What? <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. Basically, Ward kicked off. June went to college. What else she do? And City council? Right. Mayor? Right. President next, probably. Oh, <laughs> President Grandma? <laughs> sure she wasn't a, wasn't a real estate agent at some point? No, I don't. <laughs> maybe. I thought, I thought that was a standard occupation for widowed uh, housewives. Automatically. I don't uh, know if Carol's doing it. She's not a yeah, widow yet on the Brady. That's true. <laughs> right. But it seems like as soon as the kids move out, that's like they all go to real estate college and come back out and starts uh I'm not Moving sure if she was into real estate or not. I just remember the city do council. Do following. Gun repair. <laughs> <laughs> I see one of those ads, yeah. yeah they, but she did the real estate or whatever. Yeah. So then she went on into politics, and now she's the mayor of the whole darn place. Which is swell. That's interesting, too. Carol now has a career. Right. Now that the kids are out of the house. She, like she did anything anyway. Yeah. Like she did anything besides right. sit and solve problems. Right. <laughs> and Alice did all the real work around, so... Uh, Carol Matriarch. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, we no. shall solve your problems, <laughs> oh, young children of ours. She, she, she wasn't a brownie leader. I mean, she. what did she do? What did she do with all her time? <laughs> Executive wife? <laughs> that was about Professional it. Professional wife. Professional wife. 
I mean, really, just, I... Just keeping the logistics of the whole thing, I think, pretty well, she, much was... Uh, she did kind of help in the kitchen. Right, she right. She helped the hired help. Mm -hmm. She was a homemaker. That doesn't mean she was a home doer. Yeah. <laughs> she made she the home, supervised. Else actually did the home. That she would supervise. End. Give everybody their chores <laughs> and watch them mess up. Right. <laughs> exactly. And then Alice would have to come in and straighten it up. <laughs> and they don't have the dog anymore either. And eggs well, possibly in the summer. Well, pretty well Tiger's assuming. pretty much yeah. dead, I imagine. <laughs> pretty darn good chance. He couldn't come back, neither could Sam. They both died. They had right. a good excuse. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, we've noticed in the new in the new series, of course, now you can't find this out because it's now lost to oblivion. But, we're, uh, we're talking about the Brady series. The, the, yeah, the new Brady series is that uh, the actor that played Sam the Butcher, which I can't remember his name offhand, no, uh, it was died. Probably... The actor who played that. So... You know, we figured, well, Alice will be a widow. No, 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 no. Uh, Sam's still around, but he's never on camera. She just talks to him on the phone. <laughs> yes, it, yes, Sam, I'll, I'll be home in a little while. I'm over at the Brady's, you know. It's, it's like that one Twilight Zone episode where they kept talking <laughs> to somebody on the phone, and you, you go and find out where the phone line goes, and it goes straight into the grave there. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That type of thing, yeah. And it's funny, Alice is still calling her Mrs. Brady, Mrs. Bra Mr. Brady. After all these years, couldn't you call him? Couldn't call her Carol? Come on. Yeah, it's like you've known her for years. For goodness' sakes. Like Carol, Carol, not, Mike. <laughs> huh? Maybe she doesn't like those names, Carol and Mike. Because <laughs> <laughs> she's got servantitis. Oh, I've been a servant all my life. Yes, my lord. Yes, yeah. my lord. <laughs> Did you notice how readily she became? She wanted to be the babysitter for the the grandkids. <laughs> 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 Just a gleam went into her eye. Maybe they actually, maybe they actually own Alice or something. <laughs> <laughs> they got some dirt on her, you know. Yeah. Some they got some dirt. Servitude, yeah. uh, Alice, type Alice, of thing. Alice, they caught Alice uh, trying to cat burglarize their house. Right. They're right? <laughs> 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 going after the Brady jewels. Or right. Something. They got incriminating <laughs> evidence. She has to stay or go to jail. Right. So uh, work for us for the rest of your life, or we'll send you to jail. Yeah. <laughs> Even when you don't worry for us, just come over. Yeah, all the time. For no always, particular reason. Always call bell. us Mr. and Mrs. <laughs> right. <laughs> we are not your friends. We are your employers. <laughs> you will never address us as by our very hard names. <laughs> but the, the thing is, what you know, you look at the, the, the Leave Leave it Beaver. to Beaver, and you look at the new Brady show, and it's like, one show worked and the other show didn't. And what's the difference? Why did one show work and the other show didn't? Well, I think it was that um, Leave It to Beaver. I, I can't really, I can't really speak a lot for either show because I was never really an avid watcher of either one. But from the the aura, the mystique that each show gives, we can look and say that the um, Leave It to Beaver show um, dealt with Leave it to real, Beaver. more realistic things. Well, uh, I'll be at a comedy, I right. mean, you know, and so much for comedy, and then it's in Hollywood or wherever. It's, it's a show, well, so you can't deal with every problem, and they weren't really necessarily problems. Right. They it's were more like a warmity. <coughs> situations. Yes, they were <laughs> <But> situations. <laughs> They're childish situations, right. too, because it was basically the kids that did every did the That's the key to the new show. Things. The new show, you still see Beaver, Wally, Lumpy, Eddie, but... The new show kind of centers on the, n the next generation. Yeah. <laughs> because a lot of the new show revolves around Kip and Oliver, the little girl whose name I can never remember. Now the Stinky. new baby who's, right. who, who grew up like six months to three years. Like, right. Well, that's a real that's TV a, kid. That's a law of situation Stinky, comedies. Yeah. It's like, hey, it's like we can do about four or five ep episodes about the other kids mm -hmm. being being uh, jealous of the new kid and then it's like hey he's dead weight until he can talk <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we got to get him till the point he can talk and then we can slow down his aging a little bit but it's like all it's it still centers on the kids right and the kids still go like they did in the old show they always went it always wound up to to ward the wise <laughs> <laughs> well beaver wally you screwed up again <laughs> right it always comes down to the kids have to go to one of the adults usually whichever one is their parent, mm -hmm. or to wise old grandmother Cleaver right. and find a solution. Yeah, and like, and like the new show, though, it's uh, uh, the, 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 Beaver, the, the Brady show.